Hey, good afternoon, YouTube. This is Clay with Clay's AC and Auto Repair and Clay Motion here in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and this is the Clay Way. If this video is helpful, please consider subscribing, clicking the notification, sharing my video, and sending me them sweet old thumbs up and nice comments. If you've got a question for me, you can hit me on Clay's AC and Auto Repair on the Facebook Messenger. I happily answer them for my subscribers for absolutely free, if I can. Today, we're gonna show you something super sweet. Fix this shifter for a buck 50 and you can buy a component for this shifter that's about $17 off the internet but you can take this apart and have it fixed in minutes and be rolling the same day so we're going to show you that so what's going to be awesome about this video is on this Chrysler Pacifica this information at least for the shifter repair portion is going to be the same on the 2005 to 2010 Chrysler 300 and 2007 to 2011 Chrysler Pacifica to my understanding um i can't say for certain but you need to watch this stuff because this is youtube gold remember if anyone else can do it you can do it too so i push on the brake and down there i can hear the solenoid that actuates the release for my shifter but when i go to pull it back it won't do anything. Now, if you pull hard enough, you're obviously going to break the shifter. We don't want to do that. Now we can start disassembling the shifter assembly to try to figure out why it's defective. We'll turn this counterclockwise, which is a little LED light inside here. We'll pull up on that. So I went ahead and I plugged the unit back in. And I can hear it functioning properly. If I take my finger and I push in on the pink, right here, I'm gonna try to do it one-handed. I can then take my other hand. And I can shift it through the gears. The pink thing stays back. So that tells me that that is what is holding me up and why I'm unable to shift it. Now I'm gonna look inside it and see if there's something broken. If you can't remove the top cover of the shifter and push down on the pink lever, you're gonna have the same broken component as I'm gonna show you how to fix in this video. As we push down on our brake pedal, it allows the pink clip to slide over with this solenoid. With the blue bracket not in its place, it stops it from moving there. And then when we push that, we're able to move it all the way over and move the gate. The cable that attaches to the pink lever is for the key lock. So we can't disable this mechanism from working because then we won't be able to remove our key from the ignition. So we have to figure out a way to actually fix this. Without disassembling this, I can actually see what's wrong. There's supposed to be a spring here and that spring would make this travel back, pushing over on my gate mechanism and allowing my gate mechanism to move over but because the spring is not there and it's not pulling it back towards the gate it's broken and you can see how it's broken right there now i know what some of you might be thinking why don't i just take this pink part out of here and this blue part out of here and then i don't need to replace this I don't recommend that because then the vehicle can go into any gear at any time regardless of if the key is on or the key is off. Okay, pay particular attention to this black elbow right here. This pink elbow will go over the top of it and that is what locks the transmission into place and why even though we can't we can push down on this to make our blue component move up and down like it's supposed to it still won't release because this pink is slid over the top of the gate right there now I'm gonna disassemble it I'm gonna use a flathead screwdriver to pull these tabs off to release the top of this looks like there's one back here I'm sure there's one or two over here and we should be able to remove the top of this component Then after that, taking the screwdrivers and working my way around, I'll pop the top off. Putting the shifter in the center allows the top to remove easily. 
So with that up and out of the way, we can see that there was a spring connected between the pink part and the black bottom base. So we're gonna go to the hardware store and grab another one of these springs, drill a hole in this arm and fix this thing right up for a buck 50. It really doesn't surprise me that that spring broke because that takes a lot of force to be able to push this thing all the way over. And this has got to hold like this the whole time that it's together. So that little teeny tiny post right there isn't going to do much good. We're going to get a spring that's about two inches to two and a quarter inches. So it's able to stretch and move properly. Before you guys get all murfed at your local mechanic for not trying to install a 12 cent spring well i'm doing all the leg work for you um i'm taking this thing apart and i'm going to the parts store because i'm cheap and if nobody's paying me anything or how many hours it takes me to do it anyways so we'll go grab a spring see if we can make this philosophy work so we're going to try out a 103 a 100 and a 102 one of these will probably work. So with the shifter in the back position, we're gonna go ahead and pull the arm out. We're gonna take a 1 16th drill bit and drill a hole in the corner of it. Lightly putting it in the vise, we're gonna drill a hole in the corner, probably about an eighth of an inch down and an eighth of an inch in on this corner. Now I didn't go all the way in and I didn't go all the way through, but now I've got a place to put my spring and we'll test it out. Now I'm not certain of this cause I can't remember, but it looks like our 102 spring is going to be our best one. That's the one with the closed hoop on the end. Fits in there real nice. We're going to take a pair of needle nose pliers and as we should, it should be tight and we're going to hook that on the back of there. Obviously I can't hold the camera and do that at the same time. I'm starting to get really super stoked. This actually works really, really well. A <laughs> dollar fifty versus a hundred and fifty dollars, and that's for a used part that's gonna break just like this one. I'm so stoked. Now, when we go to shift our shifter back, we need to hold this back like this, so the gate gets on the other side of this tang right here. And try to demonstrate it. Nice. spring still holding up so we'll see if this thing works with our shifter in the straight up position we're going to put our top back on and then once our top is clicked back into its spaces on the sides unlike mine we can move it forward and see if it actually works we can test this out of the car because we have the little pushy so we'll push it over oh youtube gold right there BAM! Okay, I've got the shifter installed. I've got all my linkage hooked back up, my little thingamabob right there. We're gonna see if it actually works. Honestly, I don't know. I haven't checked it. So, push on the brake. <laughs> that is awesome. 150 bucks down to $1.50. Sweet! Now I need to point out that if it doesn't come back all the way, you need to make sure you push your gate like this. This releases your key. It will stay in the lock position and will not turn the key back, allowing you to not be able to remove the key unless this goes all the way back. So we always need to make sure that we push this back. It's not 100% foolproof, but it does work. to be so goofy in the video but i thought this was a super sick repair so hopefully you guys will consider subscribing clicking the notification sharing my videos and giving me them sweet old thumbs up remember if anyone else can do it you can do it too don't be the next to them be the first to you god bless and have the best of days